And we are back. It's McCowan and Shannon, as per usual. And our pal uh, Bruce Garriock is uh, with us from okay, Ottawa. Are you kidding me? This, the, we're gonna, he's got a new nickname, the pot stirrer. He's the pot <laughs> stirrer these days. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, your team's not even playing anymore. And uh, you're still making news. Well, they're for sale. That's why. And that's what we're here to talk about. Uh, what's new on that front? The price seems to keep going up. Well, and it, you know what, guys? I mean, um, I, I kind of put a, when this first started, I put a reminder in my calendar every Monday morning to check on the sale. Just, you know, new week, yeah. check on the sale, see what's happening. I didn't think that started in, in uh, mid November. I didn't think in mid May we'd still be, or in early May, we'd still be sitting here. Guys, the deadlines for bid, the deadline for bids is mid May. Um, you know, I did report on the weekend that uh, the Remington Group and Ryan Reynolds are preparing a, a billion dollar bid. I thought it was very interesting that then on Monday there was a, um, I guess what you could call it, a very purposeful leak that Snoop Dogg uh, is involved with the uh, with the Nico Sparks Group in Los Angeles. Um this has been a very, very strange time. Uh, I, I, you know, whoever thought you would have star power off the ice trying to gain control of an NHL team? No, no, not a, <laughs> especially not a, the, Ottawa. I was going to say the not just an NHL team, but the Ottawa Senators. I mean, I can understand Nashville. There's, you know, there's stars in Nashville. I can understand Los Angeles. The stars in Los Angeles or New York, but we're talking about the Ottawa Senators, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> like Bob, I mean, you and I, you and I, and, and John too. We knew Eugene well. Do you think he ever would have seen this day coming? Not a chance. <laughs> no, no chance. Not a chance. If he did, he would he would have executed the uh, sale option while he was still alive. Yeah, he I, just sold this team and got out from under in a, in a heartbeat. Yeah, he and, had no idea what what is going on. I mean, how many groups are still in play? Do you think? Well, look, hard to know, but it's it's hard to know. But it, the 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 seven groups I, I've said are, uh, you know, obviously Reynolds and Remington. I I think uh, Michael Anlauer, who's a member of the board of governors, uh, the part owner of the Montreal Canadiens, he remains very very serious. Jeffrey Michael Kimmel, former owners, former part owners of the Pittsburgh Penguins, they remain in the mix. Um, you know, Vivek Randave. Um, who I am now told did make a bid in the first round, uh, uh, the owner of the Sacramento Kings. Uh, he's in the mix. Um, Steve, Ap and I can never say his name correctly, so maybe one of you guys can for me. Steve Apostopoulos. That's right. Yeah, Steve Apostopoulos, who who uh, came in second on the bidding for the uh, for the Washington Co Commanders. He He's still in the hunt. Uh, the Nico Sparks group, obviously, with the uh, with uh, Snoop Dogg as the uh, general manager, uh, he's who who he's also noted that he wants to appear on the regional broadcast, which I think would just be highly entertaining. I think it'd be a lot of fun. And then there is the owner of a hockey publication whose name I'm not going to uh, uh, waste my time speaking. Yeah, I don't blame him. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so here the question I have is why? <laughs> why are there so many groups interested in the Ottawa Senators? I mean, let's face it. If the previous owner could have sold, thought he could have sold the team as easily and had multiple offers for the team, I think he would have done it. Yeah. Now I, all of a okay. now all of a sudden, there's everybody wants the Ottawa Senators. Why? And and it's interesting because one in one of my last conversations with him, and it probably would have been sometime in 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 January he was here for a game I think it was January 25th against Buffalo Sabres in in 2021 um or 2022 pardon me he he um he told me that that somebody had offered him 650 million and he said and and I believe that was Rocco Tulio okay, mm -hmm, and, okay. and and I, and I think he, he said look at that time he said the the number to me has to start with a B. And I think he I think he told Rocco that at the time. And I think Rocco probably thought at that point, yeah, okay, Eugene, sure. Yeah, right. Exactly. But but 
this is where Gary Bettman wants the, these these franchises to go. He wants Ottawa to self rebuilding. Canadian teams don't come up for sale very often. But I also think you have to look at the fact here. This isn't just a, a play about about you know owning the Ottawa Senators. It's also a real estate play. And sure, I get it. Um, and you you not only have one of the things I thought that was inter that, that I think could be interesting about the the um, Remington bid is that not only are they committed to building a downtown arena, uh, as long as they can get their, their ducks in a row with the city and the NCC, um, they're also looking to redevelop the land that Canadian Tire Center is on. And one of the, one of kind of the requests, I don't know if request is even the right word, but one of the things that the mayor, new mayor, Mark Sutcliffe has made clear here is he doesn't want to leave Canada high and dry, right? He, he wants some kind of, centerpiece or destination in Canada to attract people so that you know because Canada has basically become what Bruce Firestone envisioned it would be and and, and you know a kind of a destination for restaurants bars things like that um yeah it's still way out there but mm -hmm. I think that I think that the, this is all this is also about the real estate guys it's not the look I think I think if you look at four or five of the groups, I always get this number wrong. They're developers, you know, or if yeah. they, they aren't developers, Michael and Lauer has a Paletta family with them. What do the Paletta family do? They're developers, right? Yeah. They're developers in Burlington. The Remington group, they're developers in Markham. Um, you know, I, I think that I, I don't know who Jeffrey and Michael Kimmel's partners are, but I would assume they've got a developer with them. All right, but, but is but, there is there a deal right now for the land in downtown Ottawa to build a new arena, et cetera? No, no. there is not. There's a right. memorandum. There's a memorandum of understanding signed with the National Capital Commission uh, for seven acres. I think every group involved in this has said we can't make this work with seven acres. We need a larger parcel of land. I do believe that the NCC was playing some hardball on that, but I think that. Gary Batman and the mayor did a good job when the when when Batman was in town uh March 27th. Batman said, well, you know, seven acres acre strikes me as kind of small. And there are other sites. The mayor has thrown out a site it's called the um, Bayview Yards. All, all this to say it's it's literally two minutes from from where Le Breton is right now to the west. And, and literally one stop on the LRT when it's working. And one of the things that's interesting about Bayview is it's 15 acres. It's owned by the city. So don't forget, guys, when 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 the new owner gets a deal, to get a new deal, a deal done with the NCC, pardon me, it's got to go to the House of Commons. Yeah. So you're adding a whole other layer of government. So if you do a deal with the city for that 14 acres, which is literally just down the street, that's an attractive option as well. And Bruce, the one thing that I'm I'm struck by, and, and we've seen this in other scenarios over the years, is once a bid is decided, and we still don't know when that is going to be, um, no. th they can actually get together again. There can be these groups being put together again. You you mentioned Rocco Tulio earlier. Uh, you know, uh, does does he does he reemerge in a partnership with somebody else? Do the Braddies, you know, emerge with Andlauer? These consortiums are these consortiums can get big, can't they? Or do you ever see that happening? Well, I could certainly see it happening. I could I could see a I could see a scenario way me where maybe the Remington Group says to Andlauer, "Look, let's do this." What I was told, and I don't believe for a second this isn't happening. Okay. I've been told that the groups at, the, at this point aren't allowed to speak with each other. But right. you know, and I know there are ways around exactly. that. Exactly. You you have a third party speak on your behalf. You know, I yeah. send John Shannon over to Michael Andlauer's house to have a chat with him about <laughs> the possibility of joining the Braddy family, or you know, and then he comes back to me with the information. I I I you. I thought that I always think of a comment that Bill Daly made on your podcast. I think it was in, was it November, December, sometime yeah, in November, late November. Yeah. Yeah. When he said, 
you said something like, when will the league get involved? He said, and he said something like, well, we'll get the bids and then we'll start stirring around in there. Do you remember that comment? It was yeah, something to sure. that effect. It was like, then we'll start fooling around in there. So the league hasn't dipped, it, dipped its nose in there yet either. 